गुड मॉर्निंग ऑल ऑफ यू आई एम मिसेस रुशाली चौधरी लेक्चरर प्रवीण पाटिल पॉलिटेक्निक टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न चैप्टर नंबर फाइव वाटर ट्रीटमेंट एंड एनालिसिस फॉर द सिविल इंजीनियरिंग मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग एज वेल एज द इलेक्ट्रिकल द सब्जेक्ट कोड इज ट्रिपल टू जीरो टू एंड ट्रिपल टू वन वन इन अर्लियर PPT we will learn what is the hard water, what is the uses of water, and how we are going to convert hard water into the soft water that we are going to learn today. What is the water softening process? In the water softening process, we are going to reduce amount of calcium, magnesium salts which produces hardness in water. Water used for the industrial purpose that should be a pure, that should be free from the bacteria, as well as it should be a free from the hardness causing salts like the calcium, magnesium, which is dissolved in the water. Due to that, it become more corrosive, and we have to remove the oxygen. The process of removing hardness producing salts from water is known as softening of water. it can be done in the three following ways in a softening process we are remove out hardness causing salts and that is done by the three different process what are that first is a soda lime process second one zeolite or it is also called as permutated process and the third one is the ion exchange process out of these three soda lime is commonly used it is a cheap process to remove the hardness causing salt soda lime process can be carried out in a two different ways like a hot soda lime process and a cold soda lime process zeolite and ion exchange are more precious methods to remove hardness causing salt what is the principle of the soda lime process in a soda lime process we are adding chemicals lime and soda in a water which converts soluble hardness causing salts by the into insoluble precipitate which can be easily removed by settling and filtration soluble means it is a dissolved salt so we are converting that dissolved salt into the insoluble and a precipitate form as they become precipitate it is easy to remove by the filtration process in this process we are adding calculated amount of lime that is a calcium hydroxide and soda sodium carbonate for quick completion of reaction we are adding reagent that is a 10% more what is the function when we are adding lime and soda it is going to react with the calcium carbonate bicarbonate calcium chloride magnesium chloride and it is converted into the insoluble precipitate what is the function of lime lime removes temporary hardness as well as the permanent hardness magnesium hardness dissolve iron aluminum salts dissolve carbon dioxide h2s gas and the mineral acids present in the water in this reaction we will observe that calcium bicarbonate these are the salt which is produces the hardness when we are adding lime it is converted into the precipitate it is converted into the calcium carbonate and get settled down at the bottom and that is removed by the filtration process similarly we are adding the soda that is the sodium carbonate to remove the magnesium fe2 plus aluminum hcl h2so4 by lime and permanent calcium hardness which is introduced in a water the permanent calcium hardness is due to the chloride of calcium and sulfate of 
calcium and magnesium salts so we are adding so soda that is the sodium carbonate so it is converted into insoluble calcium carbonate and sodium salt will converted into the sodium chloride this is your mgso4 is the soluble precipitate when we are adding lime it is converted into the mgoh twice that is a insoluble or the precipitate form similarly calcium sulfate is going to treat with the sodium carbonate that is the soda to form a calcium carbonate insoluble form which is in a settle down in the tank and removed by the filtration process soda lime process is carried out in a two different ways one is called as a cold lime soda process in this process soda and lime is added at a room temperature so in water which to be a softer which to be a treated is added with a calculated quantity of lime and soda at a room temperature small amount of coagulant such as alum aluminum sulfate or the sodium aluminate are also added due to that coagulant that precipitate is easily settled down at the bottom and it is easily removed in this process we are adding soda and lime from the top of the vertical circular tank it is having a rotating shaft so do reaction will take place more speedily this is the cold cold soda lime process tank which is having a vertical shaft rotator when we are adding soda and lime from the top of this and it is going to the bottoms in a whole process it is going to mix with a hard water hard water which is containing calcium and magnesium salt and it will form a precipitate insoluble uh, precipitate initially hard water is containing the soluble salts and that is converted into the insoluble precipitate so as it is forming a precipitate it is having weight is quite higher than water so it is going to settle sludge outlet it is going to settle at a bottom it is removed by the sludge outlet while the purified water which is a lighter that is removed from the out upper outlet that is a filtered softer water through the wood fiber filter this is the actual soda lime plant where the reaction or removal of hardness will take place of water in this process we can soft make a soft water till 50 to 60 ppm next process is a hot soda lime process to increase the speed of process soda lime process we are going to carry out this reaction at a higher temperature where the chemical is heated above the 94 to 100 degree celsius to increase the rate of reaction to make it more faster and increase the water softening capacity the tank is similar but here we are allowing hot water to pass through this tank along with a lime and soda due to the high temperature reaction is faster hot water is going to convert soluble calcium and magnesium salts into the insoluble precipitate and that precipitate is heavier so it is going to settle at the bottom removed by the sludge outlet while the water which is free from the calcium and magnesium is connected collected in a different tanker and pass through the filter so we get a softer water this process is faster what is the advantages of this process it is more faster than the cold soda lime process it is a economical lesser am- amount of coagulant is required the process increases the ph value of the treated water 
as we are adding the soda soda sodium carbonate due to that the water is become alkaline to certain extent iron magnesium salts also removed by this process the dissolved gases are also removed by this process so rate of corrosion is decreases due to increase in the ph the amount of pathogenic bacteria in a water it also reduces as the ph is increases bacteria get killed what is the disadvantages of this process the hot soda lime process has the following disadvantages it is going to produce large amount of sludge formed in the process and it reduces the or clogs the pores the treated water obtained by this process is not completely softened it is about 15 to 30 ppm hardness is still there so that hardness is not good for boiler this is the difference between the cold soda lime process and a hot soda lime process cold process done at a room temperature while the hot process about the boiling temperature of water cold process reaction rate is a slow as it is carried out at a normal temperature it takes hours to complete it while in a hot process it is a faster and about 15 minutes reaction get completed uh, cold soda lime process uh, party precipitates are finely divided therefore coagulants are needed while hot soda lime process coagulants are not required cold soda lime process tar, uh, tank size is large while the hot soda lime process it is a small and compact by the cold soda lime process we will get hardness till 50 to 60 ppm while hot soda lime process we will get hardness 15 to 30 ppm chemicals are dissolved gases and the carbon dioxide are consumed while in a hot process carbon dioxide as well as hardness causing salts are automatically removed due to the high temperature thank you for your attention if you have any question you can post on the google classroom thank you so much